Hi, I'm Jared Dillingham of Jared's Detours on the beautiful island of Skopelos today. I want to show you around. It's a bit of a challenge to get here, but it's worth it. Unlike the neighboring island of Skiathos, which has its own airport along the coast, Skopelos does not, so you'll have to take a ferry to get here. It'll bring you to one of three ports on the island, so choose the port closest to your hotel or destination. Most people will go right to the town of Skopelos, which is full of shops, restaurants, and hotels all catering to summer tourists. To get here, you'll likely take one of the bigger Flying Dolphin or Sea Jets ferries. It's about a one-hour ferry ride from Skiathos to this side of Skopelos. It looks like many of the Greek islands with stone streets and whitewashed buildings. Parts of Skopelos are newer construction, though possibly the result of a surge in Mamma Mia-related tourism. Several parts of the movie were filmed here in 2007. You can drive or hike to a number of beaches like Staphylos, home to the original settlement on Skopelos. It has a beach bar and lounge chairs, which do get more crowded later on in the day. Along the hike here through olive groves, you'll see some of the small monasteries and chapels that dot the island. A few miles down the coast is Amaranto's Cove, a rocky spot used in the opening scene of the Mamma Mia movie. It's a great spot for swimming or snorkeling, but be careful if a big ferry comes into the nearby port, since its waves will knock the swimmers around. And from here, it's a quick hike down the coast to Agnantas Beach, which is home to a row of coastal cafes and boat rental options. If you don't want to drive or hike, buses also run a loop around to the different beaches right from the bus stop at the port in Skopelos. Check that whiteboard for time since the schedule does change. You can also take the bus or a small ferry to ride over to the quieter side of the island, the port of Lutraki. From here it's a steep but worthwhile hike up old stone steps to the bigger town of Glossa where you'll find shops and restaurants overlooking the coast. And from Glossa, you can hike or take a car to one of the island's most famous sites, the Church on the Rocks, used in more scenes in Mamma Mia. From the base, it's 200 steps up to the top. They installed a railing up high where the steps get pretty narrow. At the top, you'll find a small chapel where you can light a candle or sign a guest book, which is full of names from around the world. And from up here, the view of the coastline below is stunning. Down there, you'll find a small restaurant run by a family for a quick snack. And from this side of the island, you'll find smaller boats from the Lutraki port to take you back to Skiathos. Just be prepared for a possibly choppy 30-minute ride across the Aegean Sea. As for the best time of year to come visit, I would say the summer months. Yes, it's somewhat busy, but it's not overcrowded whatsoever. And there's all kinds of things to do. And it's much cooler here today, high of 80 degrees, whereas in Athens, high of 95 degrees. So quite a bit cooler out on the islands. I'll see you next time.